Hi, I'm Claire. And I'm Nicole. We're from Chicago Dance Supply, and today we're going to talk about toe pads and point shoe accessories. There's a few reasons that dancers wear toe pads while they're dancing on point. Um, they even out the surface area of your foot to ensure a comfortable, um, nice snug fit in your point shoe, and they also protect your knuckles um, from rubbing or blistering, and they also provide a little bit of cushion while you're dancing on point. Um, so now we're going to talk about some of the different varieties of toe pads that are available now. <laughs> so there's two kinds of toe pad categories. There's and the first is lamb's wool. Uh, traditionally, dancers would take loose lamb's wool and just wrap it around their toes as needed. What's nice about the loose lamb's wool is that you can control the amount and placement of it. Now that uh, constructed toe pads are more popular, loose lamb's wool is good for any extra padding that you might need. So if your pinkies tend to rub a little bit, you can place a little lamb's wool on the outside of your foot, or you can also use it bundled up as a toe spacer. Now you can, another option is a constructed toe pad made out of lamb's wool. So it's nice and soft and fluffy on the inside and goes over your toes, protect, comes up on the sides to protect the sides of your feet. Uh, it's light and fluffy, but it, over time it will start to flatten. Then another lamb's wool option, it's kind of a hybrid option. It's got the lamb's wool on the inside, but it has gel on the toes. So it just provides a little more cushion and kind of traction on the bottom there. So a little more recent innovation <laughs> is the gel toe pad. This pad is constructed out of silicone gel. These come in a variety of thicknesses and it's especially important to watch the thickness of these because if you go too thick, you might have to go up a half size or a whole size with your point shoe just to accommodate the pad. And that's not always a great idea because you want your shoe to be able to fit nice and snug. Um, and then this is a variation of a gel pad. This is the ouch pouch. It looks like it's all fabric, but there's actually a thin layer of gel on the inside. Um, these are a nice balance of providing pr protection of your knuckles while still allowing you to feel the floor because these feel thinner than the traditional silicone gel pads. And then there's also the Ouch Pouch Junior, which is cut just a little differently than the Ouch Pouch. Um, you can see that it doesn't have fabric on the bottom like the Ouch Pouch does. And then finally we have here the Pro Pad which is uh, similar to the ouch pouch, but it only has gel on the top of the pad and then underneath is only fabric. So this is good when you're really looking for minimal padding uh, and when you really wanna feel the floor and just wanna protect your knuckles only and not the whole tip of your foot. Then there's some other kinds of toe pads, accessor toe shoe accessories, one being toe tape. Looks like masking tape, but it has a little more cushion to it. This is great to prevent blisters or to wrap around a pre-existing blister already. Uh, to then, then you can put your toe pad on top of it and continue dancing on point. Another useful accessory is the toe spacer. Um, sometimes when you're wearing a tight fitting shoe, like a point shoe, um, your joints will want to ve veer inward and that can cause a bunion. So you can use a toe spacer and you can place it between your big toe and middle toe or next to your pinky toe to expand those joints and prevent bunions from happening. <laughs>